practice algorithmic and data structures problem. I'm just going to show it off over here. It's called uh, leak code number 20, valid parentheses. It's a leak code easy, uh, but it's, I think, a fun little problem. And let me just double check. I just have to go to the stream and make sure that we're live. And we are. And if you're in the stream, welcome. So let's go ahead and read the problem. Uh, given a string containing just the characters of left parentheses, right parentheses, left called curly, curly bracket, right curly bracket, left square bracket, and right square bracket, determine if the input string is valid. The brackets must close in the correct order. So uh, left parentheses and right parentheses, that works. Left and right, left and right of square, and left and right of curly are also valid. But left of regular parentheses and right of square bracket doesn't work. And left of reg left parentheses and uh, square does not work with, with this. Um, so I think if you can think about just a, a few more cases, or maybe just one more case that's valid. So we have this one up here that, that's valid if we just immediately close everything that we're looking at. But if we think and we go through everything, so all three lefts, and we ignore uh, what leak code is helpfully adding, How, what's the only way we can actually uh, close this out? with three rights. And there's only one possibility to do that. And that is to just close the last ones that we've seen. So the last one that we've seen is a left uh, curly, so we have to close that with the right curly. A left square has to be cl cl closed with the right square, and a left parenthesis has to be closed with the regular parentheses. So immediately you're thinking, okay, last in, first out, Abstract data type for that is a stack. So that is going to form the nucleus. Hey, Lavender JMK, thanks for stopping in today. That's going to form the nucleus for this problem. So if we use a stack, we can figure out, okay, what pair are we going to try to be, be looking for? So what else can we use? Well, we can use a dictionary because we know the left pair of all three of these parentheses go, goes with the right. So, yeah, so we, we can just have a paired dictionary and just let's just finish out talking about the approach. We can walk through the string that's given to us. If we, what, what we see at, at that string is a character that's included in the left uh, category of left uh, regular parentheses, left curly parentheses, and left square bracket, um, then we can push the corresponding right one to it. If it's not a left one, then we know that it's a right one. And then we can just pop off the end of that, of that stack. And yeah, that'll basically, and then we can just compare that to what uh, the current character uh, is. And so with that in mind, let's, let's go, hop, go ahead and hop into that solution. So here we have a stack, and this is where we're going to be uh, adding things to. Slide down a little bit. And then we have our pairs. And this is a little hard to type because leak code tries to help you and it's actually more distracting. But we instantiate a dictionary. And then we have a left parentheses, and it makes the right one for you, associated with the right one. And then we want to go ahead. Oop, we forgot this one. So that works. Same thing for square brackets. It gives us two there because I'm trying to make it confusing. Let's double check this because I messed this up a few times when I was practicing this problem. That looks like it's right. So then we just walk through the string. And just like we said, if the, the, char the character that we're looking at is in pairs, then we want to push to the stack. Uh, the abstract data type of a, of a stack, which we're using uh, of a data structure of a list here in, in Python. Uh, but push in Python, we, we, we call that append. And then we want to push the corresponding uh, right. So all we have to do there is just look at the dictionary, pairs of care. Oops. 
if it's not a character and pair, we know from this problem it the, this, the string just contains the, these characters, nothing else. So then all we have to do say is well is does stack dot pop the last thing that we looked at uh, does that equal what we're, what we're looking at? And we can actually just do an if if stack dot pop doesn't equal what we're currently looking at. So think about this. If we have a left regular parentheses, then we add a, a right regular parentheses to our stack. And then if we get to a right regular parentheses, we are um, going to look at the stack. And if, if we pop from that stack and that's what we're looking at, then, then, we're, then we're in good shape. If it's not the case, then we have to return false. And like uh, always, or very, very sim something very similar, you're going to be able to return true here. Now I've written a couple bugs in here, and so let's let's think about uh, what the, what those are. So one of the big things that you have to when you're dealing with pop is if you if you're popping from an empty stack, you're gonna you're gonna have an error. And also the case would be what what happens if we're just feeding in as an input. Like just the right parentheses. Well, we want to return false there. Um, so, is the right parentheses in pairs? No, because it's only all the left parentheses. So we don't get to this statement. We do get in this else statement, and then we just say, "Well, stack that pop." At this point, the stack is empty, and then we're going to have an error here. So we want to check if stack that pop, and not only that, but if the length of the stack is zero. Then we want to return false as, as well. And this is called short circuiting. So if the length of the stack is zero, we're never going to get to this st stack.pop because we already determined that this if, if statement is true. So this, this stack.pop is not evaluated and we return false. Um, we're using the stack.pop here where the, we're changing the, the stack by, by evaluating this, which is one, one reason I like uh, this, this solution. And finally, what happens, well, if you just have a left parentheses? Well, you have for care in, in string, if the care is in pairs, you append it to the stack, but then we're done. We don't, we're done with this and we return true, but that's, that's not the case. We don't have valid parentheses. We only have a left, we're not, we're not terminating because we're not just returning true here, we're returning that the stack, there's nothing left with the stack, otherwise known as saying the stack is, is, is zero. If the stack is zero, we return true, otherwise we return false. So that's the name of the game. And let's go ahead and submit the solution. Good, and it's accepted. Um, the time complexity is linear time complexity. Uh, we have a linear, because uh, we're walking through the, because um, we're walking through the, the pairs here. And we also have a linear space complexity. Let's go ahead and, and check out how, how quick this solution is. Yeah, 74 per percentile. I'll um, need to run that a few times to get like a better reading, but it works. Uh, one small change, something that's probably more Pythonic than saying if length of stack equals zero, um, the same thing is just saying if not stack. And so both both times we can just say if not stack and we submit the solution. And it's accepted. There are other ways of going about this. I really like this one because the pairs um, make a lot of sense to me. You have a left uh, parentheses associated with the right. Uh, it's very common to use a dictionary. And yeah, this is just a, a neat little solution to this problem. So this is a little bit of a shorter one for this week. We're only about 10 minutes in, uh, but that's about all I have to say about it. Uh, next week, we might do something a little bit more lengthy, which is generating all the valid parentheses, which is a little bit of a trickier of a problem. But with that said, this has been Programmer Mitch. This is Leak Code 20 Valid Parentheses, uh, learning about a stack, uh, use of a stack to solve a problem as well as a dictionary. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll be live next week, maybe 6.30. I might be changing the time to 30 minutes earlier, an hour, an hour earlier. But uh, thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.